Hi everyone and welcome back to the channel. So this is just going to be a short video sharing a few of my thoughts about the news that EA are going to be remaking Dead Spice. So as someone who was a big Dead Spice fan back on the PS3, which is where I played them, I really enjoyed the first two games, especially the first one. It was really fun and pretty scary with an interesting story, great graphics and really fun gameplay, as well as the Necromorphs, which were a really cool enemy too. I thought Dead Space 3 was definitely the weak link, but I still thought it was an alright game in and of itself. It just made a few changes which I wasn't too keen on. And I also had the Wii game and that puzzle game as well, which I enjoyed too. When I first heard the news yesterday and saw the short teaser trailer, I was pretty surprised to be honest, as I thought after so long after the last game came out, like it's been what, 8 years? And with EA closing down Visceral Games, who made the Dead Space games, I thought that this was a dead series and we'd never see anything new from it ever again. Especially with Dead Space being owned by EA, as for a long time, they've had this idea that people don't like single player games anymore for some reason, which is ironic as the only reason people didn't like Dead Space 3 that much was because of their meddling, forcing the developers to shoehorn their online co-op into it, and to make it less scary and more action-y than the other games. So yeah, it's been 8 years since the last game, and I am looking forward to the remake, but I feel similar to whenever I hear rumours about Capcom remaking Resident Evil 4, I can't just like, think, why? Why are they choosing to remake this? Like, what really is there to remake? Because like, even the first game, it still, the first Death Space, it still has HD graphics, and it still holds up. Despite being from 2008, it was actually pretty ahead of its time. There weren't many games with no hood back then, and it had similar gameplay to Resident Evil 4, but you could move while aiming, which you still couldn't do even in Resident Evil 5, which came out the year after Dead Space 1 did. Like, we got the remake of Resident Evil 2, but the gap in technology between the PS1 and PS4 was so big, they could basically design it like a brand new game, it was totally different with so many things that were even close to being possible back in 1998 on the PS1. But with the difference between PS3, Xbox 360 and the PS5 and Xbox Series X, the gap is there but mostly just graphics, gameplay hasn't really changed that drastically since then. So I kind of think, why remake the whole thing, where they could have instead maybe given us an upscaled remastered trilogy with their first three games, and then just make this game Dead Space 4 instead, but that was just my initial thoughts. Um, but on the other hand, I did hear that with the new consoles having SSDs as the standard now, they can pretty much eliminate load times. Like, for example, in a game like Dead Space, during them parts, you know where um, you go into an elevator or you crawl through an air duct? When games do stuff like that, a lot of the time, that is actually a trick they use to hide loading times. Like, when you're walking through a long corridor with no enemies or anything, the next area is actually loading out of sight. But with SSDs being the standard with the new consoles, they won't have to do that. And I heard that they've said that that difference can allow developers to drastically change level design, and they can put stuff in the game they wanted to but couldn't due to the hardware limitations. Especially if you remember with the Xbox 360, you didn't even actually need a hard drive at all to play most games on that. So Dead Space 1 would have actually been designed around there being no hard drive present at all. So if they actually do take advantage of this and expand on the original game in a big way, it could end up being even better. Just remember how big and epic that end boss fight was for the time, and then think what they could do with that scene now if they really do take advantage of this. And I also heard that they are going to add in some references to stuff from the other games to make the story tie together better, which could be interesting. 
So after thinking about this, I started to think that if they actually put a lot of effort into it, it could be worth remaking it after all. But I'm still kind of in two minds about whether or not I'd have preferred they remake the first game or just gone straight to making Dead Space 4 instead. But I guess hopefully if the remake does do well, then maybe they'll make Dead Space 4 and finish off the series. As if you've played the Dead Space 3 DLC, you'll know that the Necromorph, I think they're called the Brother Moons, had converged on the Earth. And it looked like it was setting up the human race's last stand against the Necromorphs and it was all about to go down. But then EA closed Visceral and we never got a fourth game. But like I said, hopefully we will get Dead Space 4 if this does well. So why not let me know in the comments if you're looking forward to this remake or if you'd have preferred to have just gotten Dead Space 4 instead. And I actually have a video about the Necromorph Slashers, which I'll have linked at the end of this video if you want to go check that out. And I'll probably be making more Dead Space videos as we start to get closer to the release date and the hype starts building up. So make sure you subscribe so you don't miss out on future videos from me. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.